Hi everybody, it's Sherry, Fabric of Memories. I just wanted to share my new technique. I am a very, as many of you know, organized, structured, got to be in order kind of person. It's stuck in that box and I'm trying to get out. My problem with making pages for the journals just by, by making the signatures where you just, I just take the 8x10 and fold them in half, is the, when you, they're done, I want them to lay kind of reasonably open so that one, I can write on the page if I want to, or two, I can look at the page. Now, I just did this junk journal, and you open it, and I mean, you got to pull it apart to make sure you've seen all these sides, or if you've glued it, pull this to, you know, this whole middle section here, inch on either page is annoying to me. This lays open flat, but I still, see how I still got to kind of pull the page to make sure I'm reading all of this, which is annoying to me. So I asked some of my friends in my groups and got some ideas, and here's what I've come up with. I still just took cardstock. You buy it at Joann's, you know, the 50-pack. It's not the extra heavy. It's just cardstock, a little heavier than, than the 32-pound typing paper. And fold it in half. And then I've... And um, I took five pages, stacked them, and that's one signature. And I went ahead and used my crocodile and made holes instead of using the awl and punching the holes myself. I was fortunate enough I sold something, so I had $30, so I went and got my big bite crocodile. This amazing creature. And you can, it has little small that you can punch holes in it, and it works fantastically. So I put the holes in it, and then my previous problem was, you know, always the pages mixing up and keeping the pages straight. So I did a really light um, stitch of embroidery floss and stitched it. And this is how it'll be when it gets the binding. This will come off when I put the regular on. It's already starting to come off. But my point of doing this was to um, keep it from, keep it together, but not together together that I can't fix it later. So anyway, I started with this, and this is of my memories from childhood mainly. This first section is mainly just childhood. Cannot get out of that chronological order box, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And this came from from a pic from a magazine. No matter where you go, there you are. So it's the perfect title for this junk journal because it's wherever you go, there you are with your memories kind of thing. This I just recently added because it came, it says, uh, after all this time, always. It's a quote from the Harry Potter movies, and I just was into that with my granddaughters for making them a junk journal about it and different things. And just seemed, just, after all this time, always just seemed a perfect title to go with this journal. Not that you have to have a title, but me, I do. <laughs> so anyway, just uh, some lace and bling. And I just went and took tons of memories and just sat at the computer one day and typed. And um, this is just a little poem. This is a, to my daughter and my son, who is right here and here. Just like, you know, my last will is after I die, these are for you kind of thing. <laughs> my kids are my life, so that's why it's like that. Anyway, this is, I just typed from the when I was a kid. This goes from like kindergarten to second grade, a couple of just memories that I had. And this is a picture of us four kids, my mom and the car we had just happened to have that. And um, so I clipped it with a clip. Just happened to have a, page, a map from Southern California where I live, and here's the three cities I lived in when we lived in California before we moved when I was in high school. This goes along with a bike issue that I'm talking about here. Um, this is about when I lived in the second house, a couple different things. I don't have pictures, but that's kind of the idea, just the memory of the memory. Um, I use these devotional books and cut out the little um, Ralph Waldo Emerson's little scenes and things. I intended to use this as a page tuck spot, but I ended up putting this on here so I only had this much left. And me, I gotta use everything, you know, so I got a tag there, but then that kinda looks dumb because to me a tag goes this way. <laughs> Stupid, I know. I'm working on it. So that's there. And I can write on the back if I want, or if I come up with something else, maybe I'll find a picture or something else I can put in there. Or I can just leave that there and have it look nice and shut up and move on in life, right? Um, 
when you go to the thrift stores look and see if they have greeting cards this was a greeting card and I it, you know came out to like here but I cut around close to outlining these flowers and then took my ink pad and put pink around there and so it sets it off from the white background and these are letters that I wrote to my grandmother back when I was in high school when she died 40 years ago they gave me all the letters back and she had kept them all I was shocked I thought, oh my gosh grandma you loved me and so she kept them all and they came back to me so these are all letters that I wrote to her you know 45 years old here and just stuck them in there I'm doing these pages filling some now but leaving some spots just in case something else comes up or mainly because I don't know what else to put in there this is an envelope and I made it a tuck spot don't know what I'm put in there or what I'm going to write but there's some space for later this uh, envelope I have this is all about my grandparents and my uncles my or cousins my aunt and uncle here and then their children we were all kind of really close and I didn't know what to put in here but then I found this picture of them with my folks so that kind of goes along with the memory but I need to stop with the pictures this is coming apart but that's okay because it can come apart later but again just typed it out little ink around the edges to set it off from the actual page and this is about my mom and her cooking baking and I wrote about it and then I put this little pocket in here and printed out her three favorite recipes I think special just printed it out I know them by heart but whoever gets this might want it <laughs> but still it's just the point when I get older I may forget about all those and need the recipe but again words that I cut out of a cookbook this I just taped in pop her caramel corn was the best um, she also did fried her own tortilla chips which anybody can do it's no big deal you fry them in oil but they are the best and we always had them and now with me I always made them for all our family functions so it's kind of the family thing mom made all our wedding cakes too so I found that picture that that's my mom with the wedding cakes so that's just those memories. This is my sister and me and my sister and a couple things I remembered about what we did and again I'm back with the pictures. I need to get away from the pictures but in a way that's okay too. So um, again my issue about liking I love when I was a kid the libraries so those card catalogs and checking it out. I always wanted to be a librarian and be able to write the borrower's name in there and that stamp be able to stamp the due date. Oh my gosh that was the best thing wished I had done that but I didn't and this is one of the card catalog cards for all the books and then I just wrote about it and all that um, I also thought these time cards were just the coolest thing couldn't wait to get a job so I could I didn't care what the job was I just wanted to be able to clock out on a time card so this is what I had you know you top in and then out for lunch and then back in and then out for the day and I taped it now I'm going to write on this up here because I had a I love typewriters and I like typing. I love to type, so I'm going to write about that up here. Because there's an issue with a typewriter and my brother. And um, blank, I don't know what else to do, but I love this picture. Why? I don't really know because this kind of style isn't exactly my style, but it's just so pretty. So I put it in there and made it a flip page. And this page is going to be about my sewing. Here's the other part that I have. And I'm going to stick a old recipe, oh, recipe pattern in here, make it flip. And then I made some cards about sewing, the little tabs and things like that. So that's a page in progress. So that's that. And then, you know, that'll be in there. And then this folds over. And then that. So that's the first signature. Um, I'm only making five pages and then a few little, you know, these little pockets like this one or this one. But basically five pages and maybe two pages of a pocket or thing like that. And then I'm going to make like six signatures that are only this. I mean, look, at that's already kind of thick. But I'm going to put in, you know, five or six signatures of, I was making like ten pages folded in half was one signature. And I have learned that's kind of why it's hard for the book to open flat. I don't need to open flat, just enough that I don't have to see, I don't have to work to read what's in this middle area like on the altered book. And also, um, you know, I want to lay flat these pages. I might later on come up with a thought or memory. I don't want to write it, you know, I'll wait to get to the computer. I'll just write it down here real quick. 
then I get a little bit of my handwriting that I think goes with memories, you know. So that's that one, and I'm starting on the second one. Um, I'm jumping again out of the box and instead of just using all white paper. Look at there, I'm using some printed paper and some colored cardstock. It's all the same kind of cardstock, and I thought, well, I'll just make it a blue theme in this one. And this is just a pocket page that I got this paper in a swap, and it's glitter and it looks pretty, so I'm going to make pockets something there. And this is uh, another pocket that I just kind of glued on there with that. I meant to put it in the other book, but I didn't. I don't know why, but there it is. So what? It's, I, sewing has been a part of my life for 50 years, so... This is a page I'm doing about my brother, who is a musician, and so there's the music page, and then just you know, another little bag for a pocket, and that. So that's the next one I'm starting on, and it's blue. I may put another extra page in there. I'll see how it goes. And then, you know, I'm going to get five of these small ones, or six, whatever, and put them and see how it works. So that's my, um, what I'm doing now, how I've moved ahead in the junk journal world and um, I thought I'd share it with you maybe get some ideas on things that you could do for your pages and also to thank all the friends on my Facebook groups Junk Journal Junkies and Junk Journal Creations and so many others that I ask how do you do this or why do you do that and they are so nice to tell me and help me with my problems so here's my problems solved hopefully so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and got some good ideas. I hope you'll subscribe because I have some more coming up. And I have a blog that can tell you about a lot of other the crafts that I do. And thanks for watching. Got Hope you got some good ideas and some inspiration. You know, I know what it's like to get in the funk, you know. You can't just think of what to do. So you watch and watch and watch and then finally get some good ideas. So. Have uh, fun junking, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.